Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share my Ipsy bag for July 2016. I did take a hiatus from Ipsy for quite a few months, um, but I decided to pick it back up again in light of the changes that Birchbox has made. I decided that I just wanted to stop Birchbox and I can't just quit subscription boxes. I did put a hold on the Sephora Play box because I wasn't interested in anything from the June box. And I am back on the waitlist for the, the other boxes, but um, I decided to pick up Ipsy again because it's been a while and I've seen a lot of great products that have been sent out in the box, so or in the bag, whatever. Um, so I just got this in the mail. I have just enough time to film this before I have to get to work, so let's dig in. Now I did um, look at my glam room already, and I posted a sneak peek of what I was getting on my Instagram, so this is not a surprise to me, but I just wanted to go ahead and film this for you anyway. Um, so this theme is Ipsy Hot Summer Nights, and it looks like they've done an update to the website, so you can always check that out. And this is the bag, oh my god, I didn't realize that it was going to be like holographic. Do you see that? It's like silver holographic with these like um, beach umbrellas, like you're looking at it from above. And it just says Ipsy right there, so this one's pink and the other ones are like peachy color. Really cute, really summery. And the zipper is blue and pink, so that's cute. Here is a little sneak peek of what's inside. So the first things that I'm getting are so exciting. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post a review of a different mask from this collection, but these are sheet masks from a brand called Shrey. So this teal one is called Miss Amazing for sensitive dry skin moisturizing mask. And then this one in the yellow is Queen Bee Honey Infused Redness Soothing Acne Treating Mask. Um, I tried the Go Getter Goddess Mask, which is like in a purple package. Loved it so much. So I think that these are going to be really awesome. And these don't expire for like three years. So since I've been testing out a lot of masks recently, I don't have to like rush into this. But I cannot wait to slap these on my face. Okay, the next thing I have here, giving me some trouble, okay, I have an eyeshadow from The Balm, this is from their Meet Matrimony palette, and the one that I got is Matte Moskowitz, so that's what that color looks like, I'm not going to swatch this right now because I'm not super excited about getting a really dark color in summer. You think that they would send something bright and fun and colorful? This is like something that they should send out in like November or December. But it's nice to have, I guess. The next thing that I'm pulling out here, ooh, this is from Not Soap Radio. And this says, when life gives you one too many lemons and you've misplaced your happy place, joy inducing hand and body lotion. Um, I hope it smells like lemons. I love lemons. <laughs> oh my god, that smells so good. So it's just like a typical white lotion, kind of thin, which is good for this time of year because who wants a heavy lotion? Oh my god, it smells sweet and lemony. Oh, this is going to be nice. I'm not usually excited about body lotions because I don't really use them. Um, I typically only use like a heavy duty lotion like on the soles of my feet because they get crusty. But this smells fantastic. I will definitely be using this as a hand cream. That feels good too. <clears throat> so next thing I have here is a brush. I love getting brushes and subscription boxes. So this one is from Vasanti, which I think is the same company that makes that uh, exfoliator. Okay. But it's just like an eyeshadow brush. You see it's like ergonomically formed. So it's just like a flat shader brush. Definitely great to have on hand. Perfectly useful. I'm happy to try this out. I'm just going to stuff that back in there. And I do have one more product here, 
and this is actually from Too Faced. This is their Hangover RX Primer. Um, it says it's the Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers. That sounds amazing. Um, since I do have oily skin, this is probably going to be a little bit too much for me in the summertime, but come the fall and winter, this might be an actual lifesaver. And I've been wanting to try this out, so this is actually a really generous size to sample to see if I like it, because I know this product is like $30 or $40 probably, so definitely plenty of uses to try this out. So overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. The Shrey masks definitely uh, made this bag a win for me. And then, you know, you can always use a makeup brush. This primer is going to be great. So I am super pleased with Ipsy this month. I will have a link down below to Ipsy. It will be a referral link. Or you can just go to ipsy.com if you're interested in subscribing. It is only $10 a month, and you do get about five samples shipped to your door. Sometimes it's samples. Sometimes it's full-size items. And it's usually a fantastic deal. Typically, the bags are worth $30, $40, $50. Um, and they are customized to your needs, but not customized, like, hand-picked. So that was my Ipsy for July 2016. I will continue to subscribe to Ipsy, so keep an eye out for future unbaggings. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!